Where did I wait? Where is she? Oh my God. Where is she? Come on, see her. Come on. Come on, see her. Come on, come on. I'm waiting for you. You people should be ready to pay for whatever you put the store out there. Oh. Hey. Come on, say it in my face. Come on, son, I say it. Where is she? I will bury her today. I will bury her today. If I don't kill you today, I'm burying with my child. You will kill with your witchcraft. Mama, please Mama, calm down. down. Mama, calm down. Let nobody tell me to come down. If you tell me to come down, I will add you to this fight. If I don't kill this witch today, I will not rest. <laughs> You people should go and look for whoever killed whoever in your family. Oh. Eh? You people should leave my shop. Oh. Eh? You killed my son with your witchcraft. <laughs> Mama, please listen to me. Let's go home. We will come back for her when the time comes. We go. We go, Norma. Please. We go, Mama. <laughs> Stupid people moving around looking for who to blame for your problems and frustrations. Idiot. Also, Gassi, you're here, scratching my seat. Eh? Is it my seat that's shopping the witchcraft that's in your family? Eh? Oh, Chem. Oh, so No. Come back now. Come and fight children. Idiot. Anum Pangasi. Auntie, this is a very, very, very serious problem. Who asked for your opinion? But, Auntie. Those people, they said that you told uh, Ejima that you're going to eat up her wing. And that same night, she loves her pregnancy. Meaning? I meaning? Auntie, I, I want to go. You want to go? Go where? I want to go back to Asia. I, I prefer to go back to my Pawan tapping. When I know that the only fear is, uh, is Jiga, not, not witchcraft. You are a very stupid boy. Thank you, Auntie. I don't want to argue with you because I don't want to die. Auntie, did you just. Did this one just call me a witch? Adam! Come back here! Adam! Come back here! They killed my baby. My baby. They killed my hey, Jima, baby. Please calm down. Stop telling me to calm down. They killed my baby. Look, it was an accident. It was no accident. They pulled my child from my womb. And you tell me it was an accident? What accident? Hey, Jima, you've just been unreasonable. It has been weeks since this thing happened. Even, even the doctor said it was a miscarriage. It could have happened to anyone. It didn't happen to anybody. It happened to me. Me! I was carrying your child and not some stranger on the streets. Okay. So what do you want me to do? I don't want you to do anything. Because all you have done in the past few weeks is nothing. So I, I don't touch me.
My brother, are you sure you know what you are doing? Because they told me you have been doing this for God knows how long. And there is no improvement. See, it is the man who confesses his inability to father a child because of his impotency that receives help from his brother. If this is beyond you, please tell us so that we can go somewhere else. Mama. Mama. Mama Guinea, am I lying? Is there any improvement? Are you sure this man is really a native doctor? Because I've been talking since he got here and he's not answering me. Keep giving him the harbor mistress. He should help keep the pain down. I have seen it all. Ogonna, where and how did you say you met this native doctor? Are you sure he's a native doctor that treats normal people or the one that treats mad people? Mama, please stop all this and tired, please. Please, my leg is very weak. Okay, I'm sorry. Onum Sum, I will not say anything again. But if in the next two weeks, there is still no improvement. I am taking you to R on this job. Yes. Let me see that with that to fly again. They're in R on this job. The deviants walk on their heads and they speak directly with the spirits. Not this one that is looking like he has a pack of hunger, Mr. Kwashoko. <laughs> Afternoon. Afternoon. Amara, how are you? I'm fine. I didn't know you were back. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, where's your sister? Her shop. Okay. I, I, I thought she was not supposed to go to the shop today. That was why I came back early from work. Well, she insisted she would. Who am I to stop her? Oh! <laughs> 
Why can't I touch you? You are my wife for God's sake. Does that mean that the only thing I'm good for is to spread my legs for you to ride me like an enslaved horse? What are you talking about? I am talking about the fact that all you think I am good for is sex. You're my wife. I am your husband. And I have needs. And I have feelings, too. It might have been three months since we lost that child. Must our life stop? It's easy for you to say, because you were not the one carrying the baby. If that's the way you see it, no problem. You can have the bed. Whatever. My daughter, I don't know anymore. I don't know. The last money you sent. We have used her in buying medicines. We have used her English medicine. We have even used the traditional medicine. Something is happening. I even have a feeling that Isusu is avoiding us. He keeps giving us excuses on why he can't come to the house. Mama, I think it's high time you people take Papa to a general hospital. We've been to the general hospital. The last time we visited there, they, they, uh, hey, God forbid. What did they say? God forbid what? They said that they might have to cut off his leg. God forbid. Oh, immediately I heard that. I took my husband and ran faster than the other back to our house. Mama, what do you think I should do? Should I come back home and help? No, help do what? Eh? Please stay where you are. We don't even know who we should be afraid of anymore. Because I... I don't know. Mama. Mama? 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 happening to us? Why? Why? I'm tired. I don't understand all this. I'm tired. I'm just tired. They say it is a witch. They say it is witches. And I am saying, why can't this witch or witches Come and kill me and eat up my own flesh. Why my son and his family? Oh God. Oh God. Haven't we suffered enough? Is my sin greater than the others? Oh. Yes. They should come and kill me and leave my family alone. Don't worry, she'll be fine. She's a strong woman. Leave the big, big grandma. Please, my daughter, tell us the truth. If you know what we have gone through, if you know what we have seen, you'll understand that there is nothing we see now that will make us cry blood instead of tears that we have gotten used to. Okay, I'll go straight to the point. Mm -hmm. The impact of the car threw her straight into a tree where she hit her head and her skull was fractured, which initially gave her a concussion and then 
a coma, which she knew she was in before she came out. We might need to get a psychological assessment to know whether the blow to her head affected her in any way besides the physical. Apart from the fractures and broken ribs, there is no damage to our internal organs. In that area, she's all right. Um, well, um, doctor, please just tell us what the problem is. Doctor, why are her eyes wrapped? Her eyes have been wrapped for a few days now and nobody's telling us anything. Well, like I explained to your grandmother, when your mother made an impact to the tree, the splinters got into her eyes, both eyes. And, uh, well, we thought we might be able to save them, but unfortunately, that won't be possible. Meaning what? Yeah, okay. What does that mean? Ah, Mama, please relax. Relax. I swear if you tell me to relax again, it is this same relaxing you have been telling me for how many days now? Each time I relax, you bring me another bad news. If you tell me to relax again, I will focus on it and set myself on fire. Mama, be cool. Relax. Okay. I'm waiting again. I'm talking to Blue grammar. Like I was saying, the splinters damaged her retina. And, uh, well, um, I'm sorry. She's blind in both eyes. Eh? There's nothing more we can do here. I think we need to go back to Vegas. What do you mean we need to go back? My father is lying in the bedridden. My mother is lying in the hospital, blind. All her bones broken in different places like an old dead wood. I know. But what more can we do? What? We've been here for over a week. You are not a doctor. Neither are you a nurse. You are here. Your sister is here. Your grandmother is here. I am here. Our lives mustn't come to an end because of all this. John. I just realized I don't even know you. But I speak the truth. I have spent over 500,000 naira on your mother in that hospital. I've spent just about the same amount of money on your father. And we don't even know what is wrong with them. Our marriage is suffering. Our life is suffering. I can't even touch my wife. The sex thing again? Yes, Ijima. The sex thing. The sex thing which is extremely important in every marriage. Sex. I married a woman, not some termite infested deadwood. I'm sorry. I just want my wife back. That's all. Have you come back? When I'm done here.
Our people say that the wise starts looking for the black goat during the day before night comes. That saying is outdated because we have no business with black goats here. No normal human being will be looking for a black goat in the middle of the night. Please say what you came for. And why are you covering your nose? Is this house smelling? No, I didn't say so. I never said so at all. I didn't say so. What do you want? Err, uh, my daughters. To err uh, is human. To forgive is divine. Another unwise proverb by foolish elders. You open your crocodile eyes and do me wrong, and you tell me it is divine for me to forgive you. Mbano. It is not possible. You do me one, I do you ten. That is the proverb you should be saying in this house. Uh, Madam, you should not be taking it that way. I mean, here we should be a bit reasonable. Reasonable? Did you just say reasonable? Were you reasonable when you killed my son's wife with your car? Uh, um, uh, Mama. Your son's wife is not dead. Oh! Oh! You call that condition you people left her being alive? No eyes? Oh! Broken body? We... <laughs> we brain! But it's not working anymore! You call that being alive? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, I wish you all the same. I wish you and your father and your mother and your sister and your brother the same. God forbid. God forbid what? Mama, 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 please, please. I am trying so hard not to get angry here. Because the police advise that we settle this out of court. Thank you, my daughter. This is exactly what we are here for. We are going to resolve it here. Yes. What do you want? Hmm. Um, this is 200,000 Naira. Hmm? Um. No, take it. Have it. Have it. <laughs> Let no one say it is too big. Hmm? I've just brought it to assist you as I have been assisting others. Just have it. Eh? <laughs> just take it. Use it. Okay? Uh, 200,000 Naira. Yeah. Ha! Ah. You have done very, very well. I've been doing it. Well. And, uh, and my people. Thank you. Mistakes always happen. As you can see, he is a peace loving man. I hope the case is solved. You are a very stupid, hungry old man. I give all of you five seconds to get out of this house. And you, Mr. Ritualist, take your blood money and get out of this house right now. Young lady, I don't think we have come here to be insulted. Eh? I brought this money here out of my own generosity. Your mother ran into the road like a confused spirit. And she ran into my car. My car did not run into her. Okay? I have driven for over 30 years on the road without having this kind of experience. So why? We have come here to make this and it is obvious now that you don't want to make this with us. Eh? So you are free to take us to any way you 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 wish. Papa, stop. Papa, stop. Will you shut up your mouth, my friend? Stop. Shut up your mouth there. You've been sitting here like a moron all this while. Listening to the riffraffs insult your own father. Will you cockroaches leave this house before I kill someone? What? Let this house now! Get out! Has it come to that? Will you please try and bust someone head? Get out! Mama. 
What do we do now? It is well. No one, it is well. Hey! Hey! Why would you think this gate is a witch? Why would I not think so? Why wouldn't I think she's a witch? When every time I shut my eyes and sleep, the only thing I see is my supposed wife in different forms and shapes, threatening to suck every bit of blood in my body till I have nothing left. <laughs> G. No, no, no. What do you think of it all? Witchcraft accusation is a very serious matter. For anyone to be accusing his wife of witchcraft, that person needs to think very well. I totally agree with him. I agree completely with him. Is it not our Ejima? Ejima up, Ejima down, Ejima this one. The most beautiful Miss World. I agree. I said all that. But I'm now telling you that she's a witch. She's a witch too. See, you, you see why I hate all these believe girls? You see? Are, are you trying to make me laugh? You, are, are you trying to make this issue a, a funny issue? When did you start hating village girls? The same village girls you were running around and, and after in Umu. But I never married anyone and brought her to Lagos. Okay. It's my fault I married a witch. I'm going to get too much. Okay. I'm just telling you to say that if anything happens to me, at least you'll be sure of who was responsible for my lack of blood. The person that drank my blood, you'll be sure of. Mothers of the night, have I not done all you asked for? You yeah. have. What more do you want from me? Soon, it will be over. Your burning made lights. Peace at your threshold. Greatness awaits you. The way first journey is almost arranged. In a few days, your freedom you will end. My wife. My son. The moose has lost its grip. We are peace for those who believe. Mama, I want water. Mama. I want water. Papa! Understand you. <laughs> You're for real. <laughs> From the obviously confused look on your face, 
you are the real thing. So, where is your sister, my wife? She is still in the village. She said I should tell you that she'll be back in a, a week or two. Vintage. As expected. <laughs> so what are you doing here? I thought you guys decided to relocate permanently to uh, the village. My entrance examination to the university comes up in a few days' time. So my sister suggested I should come back for my examinations. Okay. Alright. You're welcome. You didn't go to work today. Well, I didn't. I'm here. Home, alone, with my good old friend, Mr. Russian Vodka. <laughs> and we're having fun. And I'm guessing you want to know why. Hmm? I'll tell you. Bye. Right. John. Machuku with Fred. I've suddenly been cursed by whatever it is that has been plaguing your family. And subsequently, I have been fired, yeah. kicked out, given the goods, chased out, driven out of the gates of the company. They said adios, amigos, never to come back again. The company I gave all my life threw me out like Please don't talk like that, okay? I'm very sorry about that. I didn't know. You didn't know? Yes. You never told anyone. What difference would it make if I told anyone? Nobody cares about good old John. Nobody. Don't talk like that. I... We care. We care about you a lot. Okay? I have heard you. I'm sorry about your father's predicament. I don't know what caused it. Maybe you offended some people. I am also sorry about your mother's troubles. Maybe it's her bad mouth that put her in that condition. Then as for you, I'm also sorry for your troubles. Although I shouldn't be. Because it is with this your bad mouth that you use in eating coco, yam, yam and palm oil. This same bad mouth with a foul tongue like that of your evil mother that you used to call me barren. 
God, am I God? Oh no! I don't take theory. Inania, you have tasted it. Just like I tasted it when your father destroyed my womb and abandoned me. Huh? But am I still angry? Oh no, I am not angry. But God will judge the evildoers. The land will judge the evildoers. So that is all I have to say. Please stand up and leave my house now. Have you forgiven us? Eh? Forgive Guinea. Look at this girl. Forgive what? Oh, you think I'm not sensible? You think I don't have sense? I should so have forgiven you. So you can go around the village and spread the rumor that I'm the one sucking you people's blood, Abby. Be so. Let's go. At least we have done what they say we should do. We have begged her. Whether she accepts it or she does not accept it, we have begged her. Hey! Hey, whoa! So you people went to a native doctor's house? You went to a native doctor's house, and the native doctor told you that Chinyan Weke is the reason behind your movement. That I'm the one sucking you people's daughter. And you came to my house with Jujuria. You came to my house with Jujuria? Child! Get up, let's go now. The God of Chinyan Weke is alive. <laughs> Auntie Christian Mother, we have begged you. Accept her apology. <sighs> if you spread your black wings again to fly, or you sharpen your black teeth to suck the blood of any of my family members again, I will tell you. No, I will show you that I was the leader of Brock Rosary for 10 good years. Wow. Hmm. A prayer warrior in the first ever church in India. And we were the people that brought the salvation army to us. Try me. Try me and your tongue will twist around your neck. You people should leave my house, people, rather than leave my house. Eh? Leave my house, that is all I'm asking for. You have gone to a native doctor's place. And they told you, Jine is behind your predicament, and you came to bed. Eh? You came with Juju up where? Trekking today. Oh, hey, Jima, please, in the fine food for your mother. She's uh, hungry. Uh, I can't see that. 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 I can't see speaking. I still don't get what you're talking about. Honestly. <laughs> if you ask me all you said since half an hour, I will say it's pure gibberish. If your family is plagued with ill luck, how does that concern me? Is it my business and my joy? 
Papa Salom. Wait, oh. Oh. do I look like a traditional healer to you? Or does my house look like a spiritual home where people bring their problems to and, and, and they are solved like magic? Eh? Eh? Keep quiet. I am still talking. Please, wait for your turn. What is it? Eh? What do you people want from me and Maji? What do you want? Why are you quiet? Why are you not talking? Or have you suddenly swallowed your tongue? You said I should not talk until you're done talking. Okay. You can now talk. I'm listening. Like I said earlier, I came to plead with you to forgive my family if we've done anything to offend you. Is that all? Yes, ma. Okay. I will think about it. You can now go. Think about what, ma? Ah. Are you are you tone deaf? Or are you just plain stupid? You just asked me to graciously forgive you and your family for all the evil you people have perpetrated against me and my family. And I spoke an understandable English. I will think about it, which simply means I am yet to decide on what to do or not to do. Isn't it, Horia? Yes, ma'am. It is. Thank you very much. Please, find it in your heart to forgive us. I have heard you. You can now use it. Thank you. Thank you. Stupid fool. Your father is going to walk down his six feet into the earth. For I forgive his wicked acts. Diala. Totally different. He won't talk about anything. He acts very strange and funny. Since I returned, he's been avoiding me. Has he said anything to you? Me? When did your husband start confiding in me? No, oh, said nothing to me. I thought maybe he... Never mind. How was your exams? I'm sorry we, we did not get to talk that much. It was okay. I think I will get him. But sister, what do you think about Mama and Papa? You know Mama Nuku will not be there taking care of them permanently. She needs to go back home. You know she has Antiadeza to take care of. I gave her money so she can take and see to stay with her in the room. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Nice, nice. Auntie? I believe that at some point in time in this house, I will be entitled to food. I am still the head of this family, the husband, even though I am not entitled to some other things. At least I am still entitled to food. Thank you. 
friend get out of my way eh? oh I am not my friend eh I am now my friend okay no problem you are still my husband and you will not leave this house until you tell me where you're going to you cannot just wake up and leave this house as if I don't exist you're not going anywhere I do not owe you anything eh? you owe me everything because I did not force you at one point to marry me my friend get out ah! You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Get your hands up. my husband. So? He is still your husband, so he should turn you into a punching bag. For what? Okay. If you do not want me to interfere in your privacy, I will stay on my own. I will mind my business. Let him kill you.
Rama. collapsing on my head. I deluded myself that I had found happiness. Not knowing that the thorns wrapped around my heart were busy digging deep. I don't know what to do. Sister, stop it. Stop lamenting. Do you want to kill yourself? Do you want to kill yourself? You don't need to do that, sister. Eh? It's okay. <laughs> it's Mama Nuko. Hello, Mama Nuko. Good afternoon. I'm fine. Have been naked. 
ada penting sekali. Sehingga sang sang disgrace. No. No. I want to die. I want to die. No, I want to die. I want to die. I want to die. Mama, please eat, please. Mm. Mm. Mama, be quiet now. Oh, please. Mm. I beg you, just eat. Mm. Mm. Why are you letting Auntie Adizu eat, son? Just, I'm tired. I'm tired of dragging her out from that place. How can a full grown woman decide to be eating sand instead of good food? Yeah? I'm tired. Tired. I'm really tired. Oh. 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 Yeah. No, Mama. I, I wasn't talking about you. You're tired, okay? No, 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 Mama. She can't be tired. She's not tired. She wasn't talking to you. She's not tired of you. I am not tired. We can never be tired of you, Mama. Never. Okay. Okay. Just eat your food. Oh, oh. I'll be back soon. Where are you going to? I want to see Nocha. For what again? I want to discuss something with her. Seriously, sister, I do not like the idea of you discussing the, the problems of this family with a stranger. I don't like it. Eh? When did Nocha become a stranger? Since all the bad things in this world started happening to us, everyone in this village says she is a witch. Even Isusu says the problem of this family comes from a witch. Is it not obvious? Eh? How many people are we going to label witches before we can solve the problem of this family? How many people? First, it was Chinyere, then Elisa, Chief Thomas, now Nocha. Very soon, we may also start looking at our own mother as a witch. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Finally, he calls. Who? My husband. He finally calls after one week. Sister. If you ask me, I will say you shouldn't pick that call. Because it's very obvious that he has learned some new abusive words to, to, to test on you this time. My journey through marriage. I will pick. At least it won't be to me upon you. Hello, John. Who is this, please? Hmm. What else? 
What's the problem? Hmm. What else? Sister, what is wrong? What's going on? I have looked at death in the eye. Now I know the value of life. What else? What else? <laughs> what more can they do to me? <laughs> talk to me now. What's going on? What more can this world do to me? <laughs> And you were away from your house for two weeks. Yes, sir. So our son was alone in his house for two weeks. Yes, sir. Was he ill before you went to the village? No, sir. Did he call to tell you that he was ill while you were in your village? And how many times did you call to find out if he was okay? Huh? I did not call him, sir. You were away for two weeks. And you did not call your husband. And he didn't call you either. No, sir. They were having problems. Johnny didn't call my sister, and my sister did not call him as well. We all know that this is what happened between husband and wife. It is not a new thing. And yet, the only time you received a call from him was when he became ill. Um, sir, our neighbor called with my husband's phone to say we found him lying outside, naked. Can you tell us truthfully? What you did to our son? I... I don't understand. What I did to him, how? Okay, let me ask the question in a way you will understand. Eh? What happened to our son, John? How is she supposed to know? Is she a doctor? Eh? Young one. We are not here to joke or play Ludo. We are talking about the life of our son. And I'm talking about how you're asking my sister questions as she is a criminal. Is she a criminal? Okay, tell me. What part of what she just said don't you understand? It's okay, eh? it's okay I'm alright. It's okay. I can handle this. Handle what? I don't know what you want to handle. All we want to know is who did this to our son? Since you say you have been to several hospitals and they say they don't know what to do, isn't it? What happened? Sir, I have been to several hospitals. They don't know what the problem is. I don't even know what the problem is myself. That was why we, we decided to bring him here. I don't know. Our son was ill, almost dying, and yet, Hiding him from us. We are you trying to kill him so that we take all his properties? Oh! oh. <laughs> what kind of rubbish is this now? What kind of nonsense is this? Hmm. I'm only respecting you because you're elders. You put your respect yourself. What, what, what rubbish is this now? Eh? Sir, I'm, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I don't know what happened to my husband. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs>
There is nothing more we can do. The afterlife has her in a firm grip. She cannot be buried. This is an obvious sign of witchcraft. Witchcraft? Witchcraft again? Yes. She was a witch. She and someone else in this family are behind everything that has happened. But the gods have exposed her. And it's so pleased. I, Jesus, the son of thunder, will expose all those behind the evil. Do not touch her. Or you might be taken over by her dark power. Mama has been responsible for all the terrible things that has been happening to us in this house. Ah! Hi. No, my mother can never do that. No, no. The gods of our land have finally. Reveal the darkness that swallowed the light in the home of Ochen. This is the witch who conspired with her mother to kill so many people. But today, today we will make an example to dark-hearted people like her. But first, she will confess. She will confess to every soul, every man, woman, child they ate up in their clothing. She will confess. I will confess to nothing. I am innocent! I am innocent! I am innocent! This is supposed to be my granddaughter. But I now know that her mother probably took in her seed from another man. Mamanuku! Sophia! Mamanuku! You did! Mamanuku! I didn't want you. Who gave you the power? <sighs> hey! No. No. This is not possible. 
It is not possible. Yeah. Ogona. Ogona, tell me it is not possible. What do you want me to say? Tell me it is not possible. Hey! It is very possible. She is the mother witch. Everybody here. I hope nothing bad has happened again. Where is my daughter Marachi? What happened to you? What have they done to you? No one has done anything to her. She only met Jesus. Who are you? Mama? You? You did all this to me? Like a feud after the dance of the locust. I have been used as corn by everyone around me. Not everyone. Mama, look, you said nothing when they passed their judgment. No. I spoke enough. Like one with a spoon full of salt in his mouth. I protested. No one listened to an old woman. That man is heartless. He deserves to pay for his evil a hundredfold. Who am I? Who am I? I have been cheated. My birthright denied me like I was a nobody. <laughs> and yet, God keeps quiet. My daughter. Usebuluwa will not come down to do for us what we are capable of doing on our own. Mama Luku, I have been deceived by a man I gave my heart to. Raped by thugs who have no value for life. Pregnant for a man who is about to wed my elder sister. <laughs> what do I do? Who do I run to? Mama Nugu, who will speak for me? Who will speak for me? I will. I will. Just tell me that you want all those that hurt you to pay. Hmm. Their blood will boil hot in their body. And their intestine will become entwined like the ogre's roots. Just tell me. Mama Nugu. I want them to suffer. I want their chi to leave them with no peace. Is that your wish? My wish. Hmm. Well spoken. The mothers of the night have heard your plea. Oh. Don't cry. To be okay. To be fine. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about, but that in there should leave my compound now. Leave my compound now! Old woman! Old woman, confess! Confess to what? Leave my compound now, or you will crawl into your own grave. Oh! For my Savior is resurrected! My soul is safe! The feet have been caught, and no one can stop you. Not even the son of Nazareth. You lie! 
You lie! Confess now and be saved. Why there is still hope for you? You, you lie down and die. In fact, all of you will die today. At the sound of the trumpet, the sons of God raise their holy hands and worship the king of the earth and the king of the heavens. And the walls of Jericho came crumbling down. Huh? For it is written in the holy book that whatever I decree here on earth is decreed in heaven. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. Therefore I command you foul spirits, you familiar spirits, you ancestral spirits, from your coven, I send your Holy Ghost fire, you spirit of witchcraft, in Jesus' name. A fool runs to death with open eyes. Oh, you came with Juju, but I came prepared. I have taken a bath in Otakasi River. Auntie, please. Please, 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 Auntie, please. Who is your Auntie? Eh? Since you people have decided that I will not rest, then you people will have endless nights. Auntie, please, now. Please. Please, please, this woman, please, please, please. Release us! Release me. You have not seen anything yet. By the time termites begin to feast on your carcass, then you would know never to touch my land again. I swear, we will not step our foot on this plot again, please. And tell Akosisi that this land belongs to me and he cannot have it. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma. Ma. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. If you This piece of land, the only thing that I gained from Uche, nobody will take it away from me. You push come and try now. You have to one. Replenish my source. Accept my offering. Give me what is due to me. His desires. His dreams. His destiny. His life. My. They have all become. What are you doing? I, I, I was... You was what? Eh? Trying to drink my blood? No, no, no. no that that, that, that was not what... 
What is it, sir? What is it? Please just shut up, John. What am I even explaining to this fool? You have forgotten how I picked you from the goddess. Look, you better watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Because I'm only trying to help you. If you don't watch your mouth, I am going to send you back to the goddess where I picked you from. I'm on pump. Uloe de kanke joe di se atoto. Eh? Kidi mi si ki. Iti no mamare na ron azu. You try to kill me and I catch you. You turn around and you want to use open eye. Eh? You're so unintelligent. I have a problem. Oh, I am so unintelligent. And you're so dead. From your mouth, words hidden by darkness must be spoken. Speak. Lose your tongue has become. I say, speak. They tore my heart out of my body. They sent my chi on an endless surgeon. My heart, my soul, they made this of it. What did they do to you? <sighs> my husband and I had been married for 10 years. <sighs> 